I've got you. Thanks. Great, the bridge is out. We can't jump this. I have an idea. You'll have to help me. Stand at the edge and get ready. Ready. <sighs> oh, that's dangerous. <sighs> Made it. Let me see. Oh, you go on ahead. I'll just stay here to die in the dark with the bats. Jump across. Nice work. The bats will be disappointed. For now. All right. Where to next? Um, okay, into the water. Or not? Not? Not. Well, where was I supposed to go? Come on. Keep going, Desi. Maybe I did need to go that way. Yes, over here. I'm going the wrong way. I am going the very wrong way. Uh, crap. This is not good. Over here, yes, I'm aware. Thank you. I went backwards. Okay, seriously? There we go. Okay, so where the heck do I go? Seriously, I can't, um... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> You'd think these stairs would lead somewhere. But they don't. No, oh, life is full of disappointments. I'll wait here. Nice. Good. Let me just go and get that bridge down for you. Uh, I did the last one. And I'm sure that will be your last one. Ha ha. Very funny. Got it. Thank you, Desmond. Crap! Why did why 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 did I why did I do that? What is wrong with me? <laughs> Whoops! This is an easy way back out. All right. So like last time, 
Now it's my turn to even the score. There. Thanks. It's a start. Do your magic. What magic am I doing exactly? No. Okay, that's not working. So what am I doing here? What am I doing here? No? some more. Up you go. Thanks. We make a good team. Sure we do. Okay. <gasps> Sanctuary. Yeah, here we are. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. must have come back here way after the attack. But why? Desmond! Right. Let's open that door. Okay. Come on, you can run faster than that. Try using that special sight you learned from Altair. Okay. There's something here. Can you open the... Oh, yeah! Let's see how close that. You guys did it! About bloody time. What's that? Looks like something Ezio left behind. There are numbers underneath it. 1419, 1420, and 1421. <sighs> Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, it's all right. I'm fine. Whoa, they really built this place to last. No signs of structural damage, no cell signal either. Should be safe to set up. Let's get the Animus down there. Interesting. Oh, we set it up exactly in the tomb. That's cool. Okay, about that. everything's good here. Sean, hide the van in town and make sure you aren't followed. What? What is that smell? It's my clothes. They smell like you swam through a sewer. It was Lucy's idea. <laughs> Wait a second, guys. We need power down here. There's a line running nearby I can hook into, but the wattage is weak. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you two would like? You know, some caviar, perhaps? Maybe you'd like me to, to knit you a lovely hat. No? Fine. Follow me.
running, running, running. Whoa, look at Sean. What the hell is up with Sean? Look at him. <laughs> he was doing the little weird dance. Right, look around Monte Riggioni for circuit boxes. Rebecca's little dude asks they'll reroute small amounts of electricity to the power line underneath the villa. Don't ask me how they work. If I understood that, I wouldn't be the fella hiding the van. Okay. So here's one. Nice. Alright, so are there only four, or do I just need to find four? Aha! That'll be easy to find. Right, where are you going? Where are you running to? Three. One more. back just in time the sun's rising yes it's booted we're good to go did you miss me no anyone hello am i speaking out loud hello workaholics <laughs> let's get started oh joy back to work I, f I remember in this game I can exit any time I want. I believe that's the case. As you may have noticed in the van, I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. Here yeah. you can show off all those flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one in the mission. I don't want to. No, I don't know. I don't care about VR missions and stuff. Wait, 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 what am I doing here? Oh, gosh. Ow. Remember, that's a thing you can do now. Oh, what? Oops. Now. Come on. R and B. Okay, I hit R right trigger and B. That makes things a little too easy, though. Anyway, I'm not really interested in You can in these. access more VR missions through the Animus desktop. As you complete training sessions, I'll add additional challenges. To stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Good, now select it and you're gonna see the memories inside. Once you've unlocked a memory by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. Oh. 
That's cool. But what if there are memories I just want to forget? Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. Yeah, this is the game where you can do that. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Okay, let's get started. Select the first memory. So try and do things as much as Ezio did. Or as Desmond, much as I can. I've been looking at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but, well, who knows? Right. It's possible. It's always possible. Ah, back to good old Roma. Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Who did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. So it was Machiavelli? She's like, uh, was that a knife? No, that couldn't have been a knife. Now I'd like to welcome you all to Roma. This is a city I know a lot about. Yes, or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the mausoleo. Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, dog. Hello. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, it is dinner time for the puppers. Um, find a doctor to heal wounds. Oh. Oh, I see. I won't be able to run until I get to a doctor. All right, hang on, puppers. I will feed you as soon as I'm healed. I need to find the doctor. Yeah, I know. We're going. Don't worry. The doctor waits. Ugh. Come here. Come here. Doctor time. Ah, oh, my arm. Yes, I know, buddy. Stop complaining. Salute. I require medicine. Ah, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? Healing services for all God's flaws. Nice. Uh, sweet. Okay, so all that stuff is restored. Nice. Alright, let's get to the top of the church real quick. And then I'll feed my puppies. <laughs> well, you're 40, dude. Come on. My back. Yep, he's right, you know. I'm not collecting feathers, no. And if I do, so I'm gonna do my best to avoid getting collectibles, because if I do turn out to need them, best not to get them until I'm like, because that way, if I have a guide, like with the feathers, my big problem with the feathers was that I would gotten like seven or eight of them, just accidentally. So it was really hard to know which ones I'd gotten and which ones I hadn't. Okay. 
so now that we have a map, what's my next objective exactly? <laughs> Word has gone out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Machiavelli can wait. Can he? Crap, I need to feed my, my pets. I'll have to do this later. Okay. Sorry. Let's, uh, let's follow. Nope, nope, no one here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted to do. I was just going to press up against the wall, all, you know, stealthy like. I didn't want to climb it, Ezio. Honestly. Yep. Okay, let's go here. Good. Alright. Hello. That's uncommon. You don't see that every day in 1500 Rome. Food's generally not plentiful enough for a lot of people to be overweight. Unless you're nobility. Why are we following these guys again? They're gonna beat someone up or something? I don't know, this is the next day. I didn't record last night after, well, what you saw last. I actually started editing uh, Assassin's Creed 2, which I finished, so that I can get it up on YouTube for you fine people, which uh, by the time you're seeing this is old news. But I, I truly did wait until, oh, 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 I'm sorry puppy, oh buddy. Hey, I'm sorry, pal. Aww. While he was under the desk, I didn't realize it, and my foot woke him up. I'm oh, sorry, buddy. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I actually did finish all of AC2 before I even announced that I was doing it. That way, you know, you guys get the whole thing. Uh, but then I had to edit it. Oh, I have to which is like 16 and Have a half hours, or almost 17 hours to edit. Like, I didn't edit anything. I just played it all first, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, so many, so many hassles you get in making Let's Play videos. Anyone who's made Let's Play videos understands this, but if you made them as long as I have, and did it uh, as a living at one point, like I did, uh, you do so many that there are certain things that start to grade on you like editing editing my editing is not complex by any means uh, no one's gonna accuse me of having deep editing cuts um, I, I basically don't edit much I, I edit to correct mistakes I throw my little in-screen stuff on uh, I divide the videos up at appropriate times you know I don't just cut them out every 30 minutes. Oh, hello. Stuff is happening. What is happening? Hey! Kick him! And punch him! Ha-ha! Kick! 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 Oh, I remember this now. I missed you. This is so much easier. Just a kick to the nuts is all I needed. Don't curse you, thoughts. Oh, man. Alright, what I was talking about, I'll table that for later. Oh. She was beautiful. <laughs> she was. Until that porco defiled her. I wish he'd just killed her. I wish he'd just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up, 
cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rope. The treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. Oh, does he now? Full synchronization. Kill your target with the hidden blade. I think I can do that. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Oh, someone's gonna get it. Uh, so, what was I saying? Um, editing. When you release videos, sometimes multiple videos a day, even simple editing becomes a chore. Um, and it was a part I just did not like. However, doing things the way I'm doing now, where I just record a series and then upload it, I also record a series and then edit it. So instead of editing every day, constantly, there's a little bit of editing to do, I know that just like when I finish Assassin's Creed 2, I've got about four or five hours of editing I need to do. Um, maybe a little bit more than that, but I can get it done in a week, and then I don't have to edit anything for like a month and a half. Um, so that cuts down on editing flows. All right, nice work here? down there. Uh, not my best. But it's hard ah. to make art with poor materials. Did you just... Oh, buddy. I'm coming for ya. Ha-ha! I think I'm gonna kill these people, too. Requiescat in pace. Because they're assholes. They were pleased with his work. Oh, no, you don't. Come on. Remember these, uh, chain assassinations? Yeah, they made the game a little too easy. Don't have to kill me. I'm no threat. Spare me. I'm not like the others. I can't kill them like this. But I can teach him a lesson. Uh, let's get the money. Why not? I'm gonna annoy, uh, annoy. I'm gonna ignore viewpoints for the moment, mainly because I've got a uh, uh, a day coming up soon, like in the next few days, where I'll be working from home, and uh, it'll be a perfect opportunity to play games when I can't record. Uh, whoops. Well, I sure haven't learned to not do that, have I? <laughs> See. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll save viewpoints for, for, for later. And I'll, I'll pick a lot of them up. Oh, look, the Pantheon. <gasps> oh, it's the fort. Oh, my gosh. I forgot this was... Ah, oh, I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. All right, so, um, uh, I've been there. Um, <laughs> sorry. So, Rome was a huge focus of mine in college. My main focus, actually, was the Crusades, the Muslim-Christian interactions during the Crusades. But I took several uh, courses on the Empire of Rome and, uh, believe it or not, Pirates of the Caribbean. Which is why I love Assassin's Creed so much. It's literally like the best hits of, of everything I've focused on. Um, but Rome, I know, I know quite a bit about uh, especially the city and uh as a, an early christmas present my gorgeous wife uh took me to rome which i'd never been to before and we went to rome uh, about a uh, month and a half two months ago uh which is why i even started playing assassin's creed again because i started playing it again because i kept thinking about this when i was in rome and i was like ah oh, i should play it again 
Sorry, sorry. And another episode done. I'm probably failing miserably, and it's wonderful. But as always, in the end of these episodes, I'm going to answer a question asked by you guys, the viewers, which, again, if you have questions for me, please leave them in the description below. Blue, my lovely co-host, ask me another question. Oh, I'm lovely. Uh, Michael C. asks, did you enjoy your Oblivion Let's Play all those years ago? I certainly did. The best Oblivion Let's Play I've ever played. Aww. Well, thank you. Yes, I immensely enjoyed my Oblivion Let's Play because it turned into so much more than I planned it to be. It was originally just going to be a fun romp through Oblivion with Squeeper, the character, who, by the way, let's be honest, an absolutely absurd character. But by doing the Runed Tale mod, um, it turned into an actually emotional and impactful experience that I will remember forever because what I thought was just going to be a fun, silly Let's Play turned into a character piece, and it was fantastic. So much so that after playing and finishing Rune Tale, I ended the Let's Play mainly because I didn't know where to go from there because you couldn't top it. So absolutely, I, I, I hold it as one of my cherished memories and will remember it forever. I always love it. Uh, my Oblivion Let's Play. Well, that's that, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! <gasps>